from the Taste and See South Florida studios at WPTV News Channel 5. It's Slay Your Day with Tony May and T.A. Tony May. T.A. So Vanilla Ice, I think, just practically works here now. I know. <laughs> Seriously. We're going to give him a Circle 5 shirt. We are. Because uh, today he got off the 11 a.m. show and then just walked himself to the lobby and left. <laughs> it's like he knows the route. He's been here. It is. The, he was here to promote the Wellington Winterfest yeah. this, this weekend. A.K.A. the Vanilla Ice Block Party. And that's going to happen this weekend. <laughs> it's in the five fun things to we do. We love our resident in Wellington. So speaking of that, uh, Roxanne Stein decided she should as the ambassador of Wellington should book him on this show. At the same time, I get a text from his other PR people because he has more than one. He's that big a deal. He is a big deal. And said, hey, can ice, we ice baby. Can we can we get him on the show this week? And I'm like, I look up at my monitor and I'm like, he's here. There he is <laughs> on the show this week. But the office literally went crazy. Seriously with, crazy. Like everybody went back to like middle school, high school times. Exactly. Including our very own Adrian Stein, who did some one-on-one -on -one coaching with their team. And who knew? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I only played a little bit of that. I know, actually we love it because Adrian is the consummate professional, unlike yes. TA and Tony May. That's true. And so when we saw her having fun and singing every word, verbatim, way, verbatim. <laughs> it was we love awesome. Adrian. So today I did something really, really cool. I know, I'm so excited. You fulfilled a dream, a destiny. A destiny. So Charles Dickens, when he was writing his some of his last work, he didn't finish this play. It's the mystery of Edwin uh, Drood. Correct. Edwin Drood. And um, so nobody knows how it's supposed to end. So the Maltz puts this thing on. It's done by the Pina Colada song guy. He wrote it. Rupert. Oh, uh, Murdoch. No, not, not Murdoch. <laughs> Rupert something else. Rupert yeah. something. But I love that song. Pina Colada. You do? Yeah. Crying in the rain. Something in the rain. It's literally about two people cheating on each other. Oh, I thought it was about them getting back together, though. No, it's them cheating on each other oh. with each other. And oh. every woman your age is like, I love that song. I love cheating. Yeah. No, I think it's about they were going to cheat, but then they really always loved each other because they were going to cheat with each no, other. No, they both pieced. Okay, we need to drop a little song in here and let the we, people. We can't drop a song in here. Choose, we don't own the rights. Choose for themselves. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so the, the play has 54 different ways it can end. Really? They have. So you can see it 54 times and it will never no. be the same show? Okay, they're only gonna I never do, knew that. They're only going to do it a few weeks. So they won't do every scenario that they've rehearsed for. Because there's 54. Because there's 54. So today, before the play starts, is a pre-show. And I got to pretend like I had a British accent. All right, I'm at the Maltz Jupiter Theater with Alex, and uh, we're, what are we about to do? So we are going to go out into the audience and kind of like a little pre-show introduction. T.A. will be walking around talking to people in character with your best English accent. We'll see I don't good. know if I have an English accent that's best, but we'll try. I'm not much better, mate. So. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. And we're from Chesney, as in Kenny Chesney, England. Yeah. And I don't have a British accent. <laughs> You don't find young man. I, I don't. I don't. You I don't. don't. I think we should send you back to London. I do too. Oh, cheerio. It's better now than cheerio. it was. <laughs> so um, anyway, I had to blend in and that was a lot of fun. You so, did a good job in all honesty. And so you have a little shopping find for us. Yes. Remember, we're doing the 12 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Just local businesses, local finds that we both love or maybe somebody has sent in to us and they don't necessarily belong in a news story. Today, we're talking about McMal Glass. Now, you've probably heard of them. They've been around since like late 70s. Oh, they do phenomenal stained glass windows and they do art in public places. But did you know that they also do classes? You can learn stained glass and other art. And I'm saying this because a lot of people I saw online, like my family, are doing experiences, not things. Like oh, most yeah. of us in America, yeah. let's admit it, have way too much stuff. Go visit another country. You will see how much stuff we I have. I said this to my best girlfriend this morning. I go, like, oh, she's dating somebody that's a dentist, and the person can get whatever they want whenever they want. And then what do you buy him? Nothing. You exactly. You get him an experience. Exactly. Yeah. So our family only does one gift, and we try to do an experience. So... I talked to them about perhaps taking some kind of art class because I am not good at art and I love stained glass. So they have stained glass classes. So if you're looking for an experience, maybe for your date, your wife, your husband, somebody who doesn't have art talent like myself, 
I suggest McMahon Art Class, and you can see some of their pieces we're showing now. I doubt you're going to do a piece that elaborate on your first class, but you can try. You can try. <laughs> and they're locally owned. That's what this segment is all about. I tried to uh, act on my first try today. That did not work. You, so yeah, you know, you did okay. Eh. You did okay. All right, Tony, me. T A. Here to make you smile. Start right now. Cheerio. 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 <laughs> Cheerio, mate. <laughs>